this is HQ Words. I am your host, the queen of letters, Anna Roisman. You can find me here all over social media, babe. It's Wednesday night. We're halfway through the week. And I think we should trend online hashtag word Wednesday. Come on, join me, people. Who needs hashtag Galentine's Day when you got word Wednesday? Am I ser- Am I right or right? Tonight's prize, are you ready for this? Is $1,000. You know the saying, you can't spell Vanna without Anna. So now's the time for your free letter. Spin that wheel around my face. Ooh, did you get a V for V day? Huh? How about a Z for Z day? I'm just kidding. I just made that holiday up. Z day? Why not? Whatever letter it landed on will show up at the beginning of any puzzle. Okay, you don't have to thank me. It's yours. We're doing something different tonight, so pay attention. You have a total of 10 strikes for the entire game. You get them all right now, and you can use them however you want. When you blow through all 10 strikes, you will be eliminated. You got it? Great. It's time for the first puzzle. Let's kick this thing off. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm more excited than ever. Here we go with puzzle one. Your first hint is healthy breakfast option. Do you want a little help? I got you. Type in the letters L, M, and T. This is a nice warm bowl. Throw in a little fruit, maybe some maple syrup, or just have it plain and it's delish. You got this. It's a healthy breakfast item option. Okay, I'm not talking about Pop-Tarts, obviously. But I am talking about oatmeal. Oatmeal is the answer, 192,747 are having breakfast with me, 7,900 are eliminated on oatmeal. I don't know if you have your oatmeal hot or maybe you do those overnight oats, okay, that's pretty fancy. I don't know how you take your oatmeal, but now that we've had breakfast, let's seize the day. Is it beautiful outside or do you need this rain gear? I'm gonna say this is the OG rain gear. Okay, it's something most people have. And if you don't and it starts to rain, be on the lookout because a lot of places will sell them as soon as it starts to rain. You got this. Ooh, 189,000 got it right away. Will the rest of you get it? The answer is umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A, 191,000 got umbrella. 1,697 are out of the game. You're out in the rain. You're just getting soaking wet. But we're going to stay inside and keep on moving through this game. Rain or shine, you know what they say. The show must go on. Let's give a standing ovation, okay, to this circus performer. Wow. They're very coordinated as they can multitask better than anyone else. Usually, they do their craft with at least three things. And sometimes it's scary to watch when they use fire or knives. You been to the circus before? Any Ringling Brothers fans out there? Maybe you've seen the juggler. Juggler is the performer we were looking for. How many people knew the juggler? Oh, there she is, look at the juggler. Look at her go. Wow, wow, I had to show you that because I can't juggle, I don't know how to do it. Woohoo! 188,300 solved the puzzle, 2,900 are eliminated on juggler. I'm gonna call her Berta. Didn't she look like a Berta, that juggler? I loved her, I don't know. I can't juggle, but I can do my part and try and save the earth. Your hint is green energy. This is something we use for electricity, only we get the energy from the sun. That's a good hint. These can be installed in residential or commercial places. No, I do not sell them, <laughs> but usually it's on the roof. Green energy. Are you with me? Because the answer is solar panels. You want to see what they look like? Here you go. Wow. Ooh, beautiful. Solar panels on a roof. They're catching the sun rays. They're giving us energy. Look at how the world moves. 181,651. You're into green energy. 6,733. I don't know. I don't know where you're getting it from, but you're eliminated on solar panels. Oh, I can't wait until we have the sun again and it's warm outside. But right now we can enjoy the little things that we have this season, like this winter beverage. This is a warm drink that tastes great on a cold night. 
You do have to be of age to drink this though. Okay, it has a, a lot of flavors like honey and lemon and cinnamon and cloves and oh my, my mouth's watering. I bet you've had one of these before. I'm talking about a hot toddy. You ever have a hot toddy? Here's a hot toddy for you. Ooh, delicious on a beautiful bar. <laughs> I want a hot toddy. It looks great with the cinnamon stick. Mm. 155,888, that looks like a nice number. You guys got it right. 26,000 eliminated on hot toddy. It's a fun name too, right, for a cocktail? I love it. Ooh, it sounded delicious though, right? I hope it warmed you up because you look pretty good. You look pretty warm. You just made it halfway through the game, baby. Only five puzzles to go until we celebrate our Wednesday Wise Words winners. Wow, whoo, did you hear that? Was that, a f was that fun or was that a confounding sentence? Wise word Wednesday winners. Isn't it, it's, it's not a natural way of, of speaking though sometimes it can be fun. <laughs> You'll probably see me stumble again if I try to do it, okay? It's hard to say this multiple times in a row. Confounding sentence. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you a tongue twister. That's the answer, tongue twister. Could you tell, tongue twister? 116,000 solved the puzzle, 40,000 eliminated on tongue twister. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, but how many pickled pecker peppers did Peter Piper, oh my, I was so close, right? That was like, I don't know, would you give me like a, a B plus, B plus? Everyone here is like, no, B minus. Okay, that was pretty good. If you can do tongue twisters, honey, I bet you can book this. Your hint is voiceover roll. You hear these all the time, maybe you don't even realize it. And this voiceover role is usually in a TV show or a film. It helps the audience understand what they're seeing, right? Like that British dude in Planet Earth. Sometimes a celebrity voice might do this job. And the voiceover role is documentary narrator. Documentary narrator, 77,821 got it right. 41,591 eliminated on documentary narrator. If I could cast any celebrity to narrate my documentary, I think it'd be James Earl Jones. Do you know James Earl Jones? If you do, or you know someone who does, wow, that's pretty sweet. But if you're lying to me, if they're lying, don't count on them, okay, don't. Some people are only there for you when it's easy, but God forbid something bad happens. They aren't able to support you. These are the people you can't rely on. And no, I'm not a therapist. I'm just giving you hints on this. Who don't you count on? You don't count on the fair weather friends. It's true, you can't. They're only there when things are good. They're not there when things are bad. 62,000 solved the puzzle. 19,435 eliminated on fair weather friends. Friends, we all have them, right? We all had them in our lives. You know, they're not there for you, but you know what's always there for you? Movies, that'll help you escape. I love this puzzle. Type in this actor slash comeback film. This actor did a lot of movies, but after a long time, this movie brought him back in the 90s. He's done musicals, comedies, drama, but his character in this was pretty violent in this comeback film. You know who else is in it? Samuel L. Jackson. That's not the answer. That's just someone he acted with. But I'm talking about John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Here's the best scene. Here's his best scene. Here's, here's his best scene. Okay. Give it to me. Come on, Travolta. Yeah. Did you get it right? Did you get John Travolta? Are we all doing this now? 23,381 solved the puzzle. 41,117 just got schooled on John Travolta slash Pulp Fiction. You got schooled out of the puzzle. It's such a good movie. If you haven't checked it out, you got to see it. I mean, my favorite John Travolta movie of all time is Grease, but you know, HQ's the word, it's the word. Okay, okay. Did time fly by or what? When you're having, when you're playing words, time flies by. 
because you just landed in the final puzzle of tonight's game, okay? Nothing has schooled you yet. You are on your way to grad school, right? That's how it works, pretty sure. We started tonight with over 200,000 players, and now we are at the deciding moment because we need a decision already, okay? Get on it, mayor. As mayor of HQ Town, I would hope that you would want to make it easier for us to drive around or ride our bikes. There's something in the road. I can't get through. Get on it, mayor. Ooh, I'm giving it sass. We need something fixed. And the answer is fill our potholes quickly. Come on, we're all driving into potholes. You know what? I'm not a mayor, but I am a queen of words and I'm gonna fill your wallets. 7,749 players, you just won HQ Words, baby. You're getting that money. Congratulations. Woo, let's see who our top three, our top fastest players in tonight's game. In first place, winning $100, Jennifer, Jennifer Murphy. You did it in second place. TYTV Brandinho just won $75. And in third place, let me cash out, please. Hey, congratulations, you won $50. And I hope you can cash out that $50. You did it. That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of our other winners, okay, across the board. And hey, our new word nerds who made it into tonight's game. I would love to stay in chat, but I want to go have a hot toddy and watch a John Travolta movie, you know, like Grease. Like, rama lama lama ga dingity dingy dong shoo bop shoo wada wada yippity boom de boom tang chang Now that's a tongue twister.